Um, in 2009, um, the WFP took it upon themselves to, um, instead of just supporting candidates that talk the talk, they basically went out there and said, we're going to try to identify, recruit, train, and elect candidates that walk the walk, that are really going to be out there fighting for working people. Um, and this was the New York City Council races um, in 2009. Um, and in coalition with unions um, that are sitting right here, um, such as BJ1199, UAWCWA, um, all these different unions that came out in support, we uh, were able to elect a group of progressive caucus members, a group of members that really were just progressive, and that's what the media kind of named them. They came into the council um, with the mission that they were going to be representing working people. Um, they took it upon themselves to do something that had never been done before within the council. They, for they formed their own progressive caucus. Woo, holla. Um, and it was something that people were not really supportive in the beginning. They said, how can you have a caucus within such a, you know, with such an environment within the council and a mayor that's so strong? Um, they did it anyway. And instead of the same old kind of outside in, they said, well, we're going to start working progressively from the inside out. And they created an example that I'm hoping that the rest of um, the state of New York and other local governments do, um, and other WFP um, local chapters do, is try to initiate what these council members who I'm about to um, acknowledge have done. They are really, really fighting for re uh, important issues for working people. Sick days, wages, um, you know, the right, uh, collective bargaining, the, the right to, you know, really be out there for working people. Um, and real issues that matter to working families. And so I want to acknowledge a couple of uh, people who are here today. Council member Melissa Varquiverito, who's here. She's uh, here. Councilwoman Jalissa Ferreras. Council member Jimmy Van Bramer. change and I'm going to give it to the councilwoman who's going to say a couple of words and you know good luck and we're going to be backing you up and supporting you along the way. Good afternoon, buenas tardes. We don't have much time so we're just going to jump right into it and I really want to thank Bob for laying the groundwork about the importance of why we have formed a progressive caucus and the importance of the partnerships that we need to form with the progressive community at large but really working actively create that progressive movement because it is only through that partnership that we're going to really be able to move this agenda now when people talk about a progressive agenda right it's being made to seem like it's a radical left-wing agenda but let's be clear a progressive agenda is an agenda of justice it is an agenda of equality. It's an agenda about everyone having to pay their fair share in making this society run. So that is what it is about, and that is what we stand for in the Progressive Caucus, and really fighting for an agenda of equality, of showing and using the examples of what is happening nationally to inform the work that we're doing locally, to really say that we need a fair budget, both at the state level and at the city level. And that is the, that the task that we have before us. We are 12 strong out of 51 members in the city council. And that is the message that we put out there each and every day, now going into two budget cycles. And the last thing I'll say in terms of the challenge to each and every one of us in this room, when we look at New York State, and we're all here from New York State, and I want to thank you for all being here and for being committed to this work. New York State has the distinction of being the state with the greatest income disparity in this country. So the challenge to each and every one of us in this room is what are we going to do about that? So we are now progressive members in a legislative body, but we need to partner up with all of you. You need to be the groundswell that gives us the strength to continue to stand strong on the issues that are important to each and every one of us. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. My name is uh, Jimmy Van Bramer and I am a uh, city council member from Queens. Are there folks from Queens County here? That's great. Uh, I just want to say um, a lot of people didn't think it was possible to elect openly gay progressive people to the New York City Council from Queens County. But the working families part 
party believed it was so, and we did it not just once, but we did it twice in the same year. So, in fact, when Pat Wells just mentioned two men kissing in our living room, I thought you were about to introduce me, Pat Wells. Um, so, uh, let me just say, that goes a long way. But I, um, I want to say thank you to... Uh, Citizen Action of New York, my first political job was working for Citizen Action of New York as an organizer on behalf of campaign finance reform in a great 1998 campaign called Clean Money, Clean Elections, which really helped uh, ease the way for folks like us to get elected. Uh, and I want to thank Camille Rivera, BJ, and uh, the Hotel Trades Council and all the folks who believed in me uh, and made this possible. And I see a lot of folks out here who I hope will join us in the Progressive Caucus in 2014. Because this is good, but it's not nearly as pretty on the inside as you think it is. Uh, and, and it'll only get better if more of you are joining us in 2014, and, and that's really what I want to um, uh, say is there's an inside strategy and there's an outside strategy. You all are the outside strategy, making us stronger on the inside, pushing us to do more uh, uh, for all the values that we share in common. But all of you, maybe not all of you, but I hope a lot of you, want to run for office, are running for office, are going to run campaigns, are going to believe that we can do more and elect more progressive candidates like the four of us who are here today. And the Working Families Party really makes all of this possible. So I, I want to I wanna thank the staff of the Working Families Party who are amazing and who do a great job. And I know, I know Bill wants to pay them more, but it's not as easy as that. But you all do a great job. You make it possible. You are changing the lives of people in New York State every single day, pushing the progressive agenda forward and making uh, uh, progressive caucuses like this possible. So thank you very much. Councilmember Julissa Ferreira is the first Latina ever elected in the Borough of Queens. Yeah. And that, I must say, would have never, ever, ever been possible without the Working Families Party. I was elected in a special election. It was cold, February 24th, and the Working Families Party told me, Julissa, you have to go do trains at 6 in the morning, and we know it's 4 degrees. <laughs> And you know what? It all made sense because the Working Families Party brings the grassroots perspective that no other candidate had. I was the only one on those trains. But you know what? It made the difference. And whenever I looked at Bill Lipton's face or Emma Wolf or Ted Furtick, I knew that I was doing the right thing. I knew that I was doing the right thing for my people because at the end of the day, the progressive caucus that we talk about, it, it really is the rights of our people. When my father had the opportunity to become a TWU member and my mother a DC 37 member, those were the progressive movements. movements. They became members because of what the union stood for. And I today stand here as an elected official because they knew that they would always have a job. They knew that they would have paid sick days. They knew that they had the opportunity to move up as opposed to having to work perhaps in retail and never moving up. So when the Working Families Party, or when many of the groups that are represented here today come and say, Julissa, we have to stand up against Walmart because they are not giving the opportunities to the families that your parents were afforded. This is an easy thing for us. There is nothing to consider other than standing up against the Walmarts of the world. It's organic. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the Working Families Party because unfortunately the Democratic Party didn't think that I was the best option. And that's real and that's a real conversation. Now they think I'm lovely. <laughs> but the reality is that you often will stand with those that probably don't have the best look or don't have the best sounding name, but you tune into our principles, our morals, and our values. And we are forever indebted to the work of the Working Families Party. Gracias. What's up, progressives? How you doing? All right, so they told me three minutes. This paper says two minutes. 
I'm gonna try my best to keep it down. But I have a question I would like to like. Uh, my, my name is Jamani Williams, I'm a council member from Brooklyn. Any Brooklyn in the house? Hey, yeah, I'm good. Who wants power? Well, see, some people don't know what to do. They kind of go, uh, 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 after this workshop and after this weekend, everybody's hands need to shoot up. Because that's what we want, we want power. I'm a community organizer, that's what I did. I still think I'm a community organizer, I just happen to be a council member now. But a community organizing is about power. We gotta take the power from the few that have the money to all of us here who are the people. That's what it's all about and that's what we need to remember. We have to transfer the power. So who wants power? Yeah. All right, that's what I'm talking about. We have to embrace the word progressive. We can't be afraid of the word rebel or revolutionary. Because the people that America allows us to celebrate, like Martin Luther King, was called everything but a child of God when he was here. He was a rebel, he was a revolutionary, and he got things done. They don't like dissent. That's what it is. Doesn't matter who's dissenting. But we have to embrace the dissent, and we have to embrace the revolutionary. Because although we're on the left, we are right. We are correct on this issue. They are wrong. They are 100% wrong. We have to take the message back. And they're not scared to embrace their Tea Party message, even though it's crazy, stupid, and wrong. So we can't be afraid to embrace the message when we are correct. When we have to talk about poor people, working people, middle class people. Because the money never trickles down, no matter what they call it. They've taken risks on rich people every time, and it doesn't work. When are they going to take risks on the middle class, and the working class, and the poor people? That's what we need to take the risks on. So we need to embrace it. But we can't fight sitting down, so everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Turn to your neighbor and say, let's get ready to rumble! Turn to your other neighbor and say, we can only win if I stay involved. That's what's up, thank you. Remember this weekend is it.